Good morning, YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, you guys will be seeing me look to the right a lot, and I apologize for that in advance. However, my mic has been acting up, and I'm sure you guys are aware of it, you guys that view the um, videos a lot, that my voice appears to be very, very low. Well, that's because my video my microphone, the built-in mic, and apparently it's adjusting itself, because when I adjust it um, to one volume, it kind of slides back down to another volume level, so, I don't know, anyway, um, it is 12 minutes after 7 in the morning, I've been up already for over an hour, um, why am I up so early, well, I'm an early bird. I normally get up early in the morning um, to go to work or whatnot. Um, now I'm not really going to work, but I still get up early in the morning at 6 or 6.30 in the morning. And um, usually by 7.20, Shakespeare and I are out the door. And you guys know Shakespeare is my um, lovely canine friend. Um, and um, he has... Um, his little friends at the park and so we go to the park early in the morning because that's the time that they're there around 7 30 in the morning and I figure well since I have some free time why not let the dog benefit from it so we go to the park so he can play with his friends and so I can get some exercise anyway having said that um I wanted to add that um you know I've noticed when I'm out and about with um my dog other people are out of the box with their pets, with their dogs as well. And sometimes um, I see something that disturbs me. The dog will go and the owner will just like step over it and keep on moving. So while I was in the shower this morning, I came up with a little, a nice little way of reminding um, pet owners to pick up after their pet. So it goes like this. If you're out and about with your pet and your dog takes a dump, don't be a chump. Pick up that lump. Ta-da! That's it. Okay, so no one will be knocking on my door anytime soon for me to write jingles. Fine, but you get the idea. Um, you know, please pick up after your pets. Um, I pick up after mine. You pick up after yours, and that will provide a safe, clean environment. Um... For us all to use over and over again okay having said that the reason why I'm on today and so early in the morning at that no makeup or whatever I put on some lip gloss don't want to scare anybody but um the reason why I'm here so early is because I wanted to show you guys my hair now you guys saw my hair yesterday which was the 26th I came on and I showed you my hair it was in twitches um, and I mentioned that I clipped it on the 25th Okay, so last night I took out my twists, and the reason why I took them out is because today when I return from the park with my puppy, I'm going to um, deep condition my hair. So I took the twists out. So I took them out and I, um, this is what I did to it after I took the twists out. I really hope you guys are able to see that. Um, basically, I took the twists out and I put my hair in a ponytail. And I um, put two pins, two regular pins, um, one on each side of the hair, it's two regular pins. And in the back, in the back, I placed these. And I'll just take it out now so that you guys can see what it is in the back. So I placed two of them in the back, so this is one. This is the second one. So I had two of these in the back. <laughs> yep, two of those guys. And oh! It's three. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, it was three. The third one may have been overkill. Okay, so, why did I do that? Well, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. My hair is very itchy also, so it does need to be washed. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Um, I have thought about um, perming my hair since I've been on my natural hair journey. I've thought about perming my hair um, maybe three or four times since I've been on my journey. And my journey started one year and four months ago. So that would mean that I've roughly thought about perming my hair every five to six months, which is a lot. Um, and the reason is because of my hair type, um, my hair, but let me just go on record as saying, I don't see me perming my hair anytime soon. Mm -mm, not going to happen. I like my natural hair too much, but um, just like dieting, sometimes you hit plateaus with your hair. It's not really a plateau because it's, it's not like the hair stopped growing. I'm going to call it a hair bump. Not a speed bump, but a hair bump. Sometimes you hit a hair bump. And that happened to me um, roughly six weeks ago. I hit a hair bump. And what the hair bump was is um, I'm just going to wear my hair out to the dog park. What the hair bump was is as my hair grew longer, something a little strange I guess not strange, but strange to me, started happening. And what was happening was, as my hair grew longer, it started getting more, um, more tangled, more matted. And I'm not the most patient person in the world, and you can see from, you can see that from the way I'm manipulating my hair. I'm not very gentle with it. I've never been gentle with my hair. I'm not one of those who, oh, you know, gentle. That's the way you probably should do it, but that's not the way I am with my hair. Um, so, my hair bump was that um, as my hair grew longer, I started realizing that it's getting very tangled. It tangles up easily. And this really came to light a few weeks ago when some of my friends um, invited me out to like a little house party thing, or whatever. And um, I took my hair out of um, the twists that it was in and I wore my hair in a twist out. Um, wore my hair in a twist out to the party. And when I came back, obviously it's late at night and I don't want to go through this big ritual before I go to bed. I'm tired. It's like four in the morning. So what I did was um, I just tied the scarf onto my head because I figured, well, my hair was in a twist out and I just did the twist out um, that day, actually, earlier that day so that I could go out at night. So I'm not expecting this huge um, chunk of mess the next morning. I just did a twist out. Long story short, what happened the next morning, there was a huge chunk of mess. And I couldn't do anything with my hair the next morning because it was like it shrunk up to my scalp, kind of like that, all the way up to my scalp, which I didn't expect because, like I said, I just did the twist out, so I expected the hair to look like this the next day. But that's not the way it looked the next day. Um, and right away, I'm thinking to myself, um... This is, like, just a lot of work right now. In addition to that, um, you know, in addition to the fact that it flattened all the way out, if I had somewhere to go that morning, I would have been in trouble because the way my hair looked, I, I would not have left the house with it looking like that going anywhere. So it was just... Um, and it took me by surprise the way it looked because, like I said, I had just detangled it 
I, I just um, did the twist out the night before. And I thought to myself, you know what? B being natural is a lot of work. And there are times when I'm wondering, like, do I want to remain natural because of things like this happening? So, last night, I was up until 2 in the morning. I went to bed at 2 this morning and wake up at 6. So, um, you know, I hit genius at around 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I normally go to bed at 10 and wake up at 6. Um, right now, I'm a little bit sleep deprived. I went to bed at 2 and wake up at 6. So, there's some sleep de deprivation in play here. So, if I'm mumbling and fumbling around, that might be the reason. But, um, yeah, when I stay up late, when I'm sleep deprived, food deprived, or whatever the case is, I think I hit genius somewhere in there. <laughs> because I start thinking outside of the box and doing things that I probably normally wouldn't do. Um, so the style that you saw in my hair earlier that I just um, took out was a result of me being up late last night and wondering to myself, what can I do to my hair to protect um, to protect it from getting tangled before I'm ready to wash it today, before I'm ready to deep condition it today. And that's what I came up with. Um, it was a breakthrough. It was a hair breakthrough for me. Um, what I did was what you saw. I put the hair, I pulled the hair back, just like this. After I untwist it, I pull it back, just like this, and hold it up, and then I put the rubber band in. I only wrapped the rubber band around it twice, so it was a loose ponytail. Put it in, and then once that rubber band was in place, then I took the ends of the hair, and as you saw, I put two other rubber bands on the hair until it came all the way down. That's one way of stretching the hair, really. And so, well, I had three rubber bands in. That was overkill because my hair is short and <laughs> didn't need three rubber bands. <laughs> two would have been enough. Um, but I think I wanted to drive the idea of what I was doing home, and I, I guess it worked out. Um, so... Yes, as I was saying, so I put the rubber bands in, and the intention behind it was to keep the hair in that twist-out um, phase, so it wouldn't flatten, and it wouldn't shrink while I was asleep. It would stay in that um, lovely twist-out phase where it was fairly easy, it would have been fairly easy for me to manipulate it today, and as you can see, it is fairly easy for me to manipulate it today, and... It's not matted and it's not, you know, it's, it's not driving me nuts right now. So when I come, I'm going to the dog park looking like this. And when I return from the park, um, I'm going to apply my deep conditioner, which is again olive oil. I believe I already shared that with you guys. I know I have a lot of catching up to do, um, a lot of um, videos to put out from things that I promised you guys that I would do. Um, and it, they're not out yet. But also, um, I need you guys to let me know what, which one of, um, what's important to you. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to uh, see me um, show you guys um, on my video? And um, what did you think of my little simple way, it's a shortcut, of um, preserving the, the, um, the hair? Um, when you're transitioning from one thing to another thing. Last night I was transitioning from my twists to today where I'm going to wash the hair, but in that transition phase, things might come up. I may have needed to run here for whatever, or run there for whatever. I needed my hair to be okay and not driving me crazy. And I think that little simple style of putting it in the, in the um, ponytail and twisting the ends it was a stroke of genius that I had that came up with that and then um, protecting the sides by pinning them down with um, bobby pins. It allowed the hair not to tangle up, not to get very coily and that was my big issue with my hair is when it gets too coily. So anyway, I see my time is about up so I'll stop the video here and I'll um, probably do a next one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.